What is up and welcome to another Loose Beats where our motto is chill out and make a beat. I'm Toby, aka Cushing from the TND channel. Make sure you check out everything we do. And today we're going to be looking at some modern R&B beat. Uh, this is one that was made by me and if you are a friend of the channel, you know Houston and Greg. And it's a fuck song, baby, you know. And so let's check it out and see how to do some new um, modern R&B type shit. You know what it is. So, um, I'll give you a little sample of one of our drops here before we start. Yeah, so we got some nice, uh, nice little tasteful R&B. Um, a couple things about modern R&B, you know, that are like clearly different from uh, traditional R&B would be like, there's a lot of trap element in it, not even hip hop. Like specifically, I hear a lot of trap elements in modern R&B. Um, and, you know, they always kind of have the same typical uh, chord structures. Um, we get a lot of sevenths. Uh, major sevens you get a lot of nines um and with this one i even added a diminished chord here so let's check out our uh, keyboard first and hear our basic uh, chords the major at that time yeah so you know that's that's just kind of typically how it is like modern r&b has like kind of similar approaches like a lo-fi or something uh the way uh that they always use some major sevens they're kind of kind of beautiful you know uh they have a nice little smooth sound to them uh instead of like a harsh seven or something you know so we got those going. We did throw that diminished in there, and we'll get to that in a minute because, like, um, I'm not used to adding diminished chords in r and B. I, I, you know, I've done quite a bit of modern R&B beats, but uh, just really never thought to use the diminished in it, and it works so well. It's going to be great to ride over, you know. Um, but it was odd using it with our 808 up here. So um, we can even jump to that... Uh, real quick just to show you what i'm talking about so um you know i i played with it a while i played with the 808 going and uh really was hitting every note kind of stepping down with it and then realized that like once you you if you hit any note in that um that diminished chord uh, with the 808 it's just going to sound so dissonant and you never really want your subtones to be dissonant you know it, it just didn't feel right like you want everything else, your bass, even your top bass that sounds like a, a you know, a regular bass, uh, that one can have diminished sounds in it, but your subtone, it just sounds fucking bad to me. It really just sounds grimy in the wrong way and uh just doesn't you know, it doesn't feel right. And so what we did was kind of step down and leave pauses in between um our uh our diminished chords and stuff you know to kind of work around them so let's jump down right here and check out uh some of our 808s that we're hitting and then the pause so you can kind of hear how they go and then skip the diminished let it be suspenseful and then hit it back you know and then the second section we start chopping it up a little bit differently you know a little bit quicker skip the diminish there <laughs> That 
that is like my favorite thing that 808s do is that that steady one but the pause actually turned out to be really useful i use it on the second part the major change as well um but so those came out real nice you know you just had to work around that diminished chord and i think it leaves it pretty suspenseful you know so in this intro we have a couple other things we've got this yamaha grand piano just doing this nice little trickly riff And it kind of starts to match up oddly. Yeah, it's kind of quiet in there, but you can hear what's going on with it and bringing out some of those tinkly ivories up top. And then we have uh, this 808 Flex, which is our main drum kit. You know, this is, it's just got started. I still have to ride over it. I'll probably section out different parts. Um, and probably beef up the drums a little bit at some percussion, but not too much. Another thing about uh, modern R&B is like uh, the melodies aren't really the driving part. As to, there's normally like a sound that it's focused on, but the melody really isn't driving it. It's normally the bass and the drums. Um, so here's our like hi-hats and kit going. Real simple. Yeah, see, it mixes up quite a bit. There's a lot of different changes in it, but, um, you know, uh, the only difference between, like, a, to me, a modern R&B and a trap feel would be trap would be a little bit faster, typically, and it would also get into some 32nd, even 64th notes as to where a modern R&B is not going to go wild on a hi-hat. It's going to stay within a 16th, 8th note, you know, Um but otherwise, they typically use similar kits, you know? They kind of sound uh, pretty much the same. Um, so that's our intro right now. We don't have anything else over our intro um, except um, uh, our guitar. So we do have a uh, kind of a sound effect guitar line running. Let's go ahead and check that out, too. Turn it up for you. This one's just kind of used to make it dirty, you know? Heavy wah. It's for noises, you know? Really nothing else. Yeah. Kind of just using it for sound effects there. like. But I like to keep it pretty low um, coming in. And you can kind of hear the intro now with it. You can see how those sound effects help. Like, it, it seems so typical as the pianos, not much else. And then you got this, like, nasty, gritty uh, bends through some wah going on. And, you know, kind of brings out a different sound there. A little more dirty for this Fox song. Um, so then we got the break right here. Uh, a lot of these are kind of staying the same, just adding a little bit. We've got our 808s coming in. Um, and then we've got this thumb bass here. Um, which is doing some cool stuff. You know, this one has like some of a some of the aspects of more traditional um, R and B uh, within this modern version. You know, so let's hear what we got on the bass. And so we got that doing some fun, more traditional kind of uh, jazzy R&B stuff. And that really brings the tone out. I always double my basses. I always do a subtone and then a low but uh, like an octave up um, tone on a regular bass sound. And then um, lastly in this section, really, we just got this uh, 70s analog lead. 
uh, which is doing some real fun shit. So like I said before, a lot of R&B, the melody and the main lead lines are supposed to be the vocals, right? Um, it's a very like beautiful, high pitch singing genre. You know, there's it's always a good voice in R&B. And uh, with that, you don't want to take too much away from the voice. So it typically kind of picks a sound or two to focus on instead of having a orchestra of sounds. You really just have like your bass and your drums driving it. And then you have a main theme that's going to repeat uh, in the background. So this is that. And it came, we came out real lucky with this one. Um, the way I chopped it up and the way I was playing, I was playing on the, the Moog and uh, really just set up this crazy, or no, I was maybe I was playing on here on this analog lead. I think it was uh, the one that's pulled up there. So that makes sense. <laughs> um, but I set up the glide to be crazy long, you know, this long drop so I could drop it and then kind of uh, twitch and trigger it a little differently, you know? But you can see how that came out nice. That's what I love, that Let's hear that one part again. Yeah, and that's just from having that, oh. that's just from having that crazy long glide and then just kind of twitching with it and like following it down to kind of trigger it uh, as you go down. It's a real fun sound that came out there, so. I love that. And so that's pretty much our sound here. You know, we have a little bit of alternation, alter, you know, different uh, lines throughout. We'll switch up here and there. And we do need to break it down into a full length and then write some lyrics on it. You know, it's ready for lyrics. It's simple and uh, it has the mood. It has the vibe that you want for a Fox song, you know. So uh, let's pretty much go out on this then. Let's, let's listen to the whole thing um and see what we think of that uh thank you guys for watching this shit we love you make sure to check out our patreon if you haven't we have a lot of new shit over there we have so much backlog content we watch movies we have extra podcasts we do extra music shows it's a lot of fun and as always make sure to check out cushing which is what i release my music under i'm always trying to put out new stuff i just put out a music video a few weeks ago on the channel if you haven't seen that make sure to watch that and lastly real bird Make sure to join the cult, baby. That's our merch company. It is our company in general. It's what we do everything under. And, you know, be a part of it. Show some love and wear some real bird merch. We got some crazy shit that says it's a cult on the front. Make people look at you weird like you like. We love you and we'll talk to you soon. See you soon. I always say that. It's so weird.